the most, I suppose, spectacular kind of firework, which, we call, which are called shells. They are called shells simply because they are fired out of a mortar tube. So the mortar tubes used to be made of iron, or perhaps these days they're made of fiberglass or paper. And so here's the little, little one, you see, a little titchy one, which we used to sell years ago to, before they were banned. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and so you can see that if somebody lights that and this comes out and goes 200 feet in the air and they're sort of looking at it, it's not very good really. So it, they, are, they can be dangerous. It's a shame they were banned because used sensibly they're fine. So what you've got here is gunpowder and then you've got a ball of paper here with a fuse and it's full of coloured stars. So that when you drop it in the tube, this fuse takes it right to the bottom the ball goes in the air, the fuse is about two and a half seconds, you'll see that shortly, and then it bursts in the air. A round shell has its advantages because if you have the burst charge in the middle, all the contents are spread all in all directions, and we can make patterns with a shell of this type. For instance, with a shell of this size, we could make a pattern in the air of a letter, like A, or, what, or a circle, or whatever you want. And so they come in all sizes and shapes. So that's the next size up. Uh, well, it's not the next size up, but that similar type. Or we have cylinders, because you may want to take up into the air fireworks which are long and narrow, so we might have a lot of them in there, and they burst easily. Or Something that we used to specialise in, in Kim Bolton, making this type of shell, where it will go in quite high in the air, quite a big bang when it goes up, and it will probably do one break, two breaks, and then three breaks here, or at the bottom here, maybe a big bang of some sort. These are getting very expensive to make, and they're handmade, and they're made with paper and string, and so these again, I'm sorry to say, are becoming more of a rarity simply because of the price, which is very, very sad, but that's how it is. But that's shells, and just to sort of show you the sort of sizes that it goes to, here's, a, here's another big one, which is, uh, as you can see, which is 250 millimetres, and uh, so that would be really quite a big spread in the air. The Japanese have the reputation of making them 36 inches in diameter. It takes them about six months to make one, and I've never dared ask them what the price is. So that's how it is. This is actually a dummy, full of sand actually, but uh, it, it is, as you can see, really a big thing and very spectacular and very noisy when it goes off. So that's sh shells.